my name is Argle Fomf. In this video, I will give the schedule for my book review channel for October 2023. So, it's October! That means I'm going to be posting Goosebumps book reviews, just like I did last year. I'll continue the series from where I left off, because last year I did the first eight books, so this year I'm doing book number nine. Book number 10 and 11, didn't like Ghost Next Door, like the Haunted Mask, ooh, psychological horror, yes. Uh, Be Careful What You Wish For was a book I liked, but I think most people did not. Piano Lessons is just a weird book. It's scary, but it's weird that there's a scary book based on piano lessons. Also, uh, book 14, The Werewolf of Fever Swamp, ah, that was a good one too. And, uh, uh surprise! Goosebumps House of Shivers! Scariest book ever. This is a brand new book. It was released like two weeks ago. I'm reviewing the newest Goosebumps book, in addition to reviewing some of the classic books. And I do hope to keep up with the House of Shivers series, so whenever they release a new book, I'll do a review for that. That's what I hope to do from here on out. Yeah, so it was fun. I, li I liked it. I'm also reading... Garfield Discovers America for Columbus Day, and uh, Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid. There are three books in this series. It's a spin-off of Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I didn't like the first one. The first one was hard to read, because it's mostly about Greg bullying Rolly. I, I did not like reading that. Uh, the second one was fun, where they have an awesome, epic fantasy adventure, which is very silly. And then the third one was a collection of short stories, which are scary stories in the style of Goosebumps. So, that will bring me to the end of all the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. I'm told book number 18 will come out this month, sometime in October, so I'll be sure to uh, read and review it. And then, I'll be completely finished with... Diary of a Wimpy Kid, I'll have read all the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books and the various spin-offs, and I'll move on to something else in uh, November. So, I'm also going to be reading Babysitter's Club. As usual, can't disappoint my Babysitter's Club fans. Book 114, Marianne gets a job as Santa's elf in the mall, and she's super embarrassed by it. I thought it was a fun book. I can't remember anything about this book. The, the Christmas chiller? Nope. I remember nothing. Oh wait, wait, now I'm remembering something. There, there's a pregnant woman, and then Mallory identifies the pregnant woman by her sweater. Yeah, that was weird. Um, okay. Uh, Jesse's Big Break, the last Jesse book in the Baby Series Club series, is one of the better Jesse books. I, I really liked it, except for the ending. Because it's her final book, well, the story of the book is that she's thinking... Do I want to move to New York and live a happy life as a ballerina there, or do I want to stay home in Stony Brook? And it's the last Jesse book of the series, so it would have fit better if she stayed in New York and didn't go back to Stony Brook, because there's nothing left for her to do in Stony Brook. She's done there. So I wish this book had ended with Jesse moving to New York. That would have been appropriate. And then uh, 116 is Abby and the Best Kid Ever, which is a sequel to... Christy and the Worst Kid Ever, and it makes no sense that Abby's the narrator of this book. It should have been Christy, because Christy dealt with Lou when Lou was the worst kid ever. Why is Abby dealing with Lou when she's the best kid ever? Like, Abby doesn't know Lou. Abby wasn't in the series back then. I th think, what, The Worst Kid Ever was like a book that came out like in the 40s or so, so it would have been like five or six years later that they wrote this sequel, and I I'm not sure that was a good idea to write a sequel so long after the original. I'd completely forgotten the stuff about Lou. Um, let's see, I'm also doing uh, the next Warriors book. So it's Warriors Super Edition number one, Firestar's Quest. It's a long book. I uh, actually did a face cam review with me talking to the camera because I could not do one of my regular reviews just because the book is so long. Oh, I did not like this book. It would have been better if it was half as long. The story was not a 500 page story. The other two books I will be reviewing are going to be the next Sammy Keys book, Sammy Keys and the Wild Things, and then Frankenstein, which is an appropriate book to read for October.
Back in September, I did a poll asking people what book series I should read next. The winner was Disney Twisted Tales. That is mainly what I read in September, because they are long books, so they, they took up a lot of my reading time. I did uh, the Snow White one, which I thought was okay. About half of it is the same as the movie. Uh, I did the Sleeping Beauty one, which I seem to have liked better than the internet did, although the first hundred pages could be skipped. It's just a fake out dream sequence. So if you're not digging the first hundred pages, just skip ahead to page 100 and, and continue from there, because that's where the story really gets started. On birthday, so that's the one based off of Alice in Wonderland. I didn't like it at all. I, I got about 40% uh, of the way through and stopped reading, so I did not finish that book. And I also did the Mulan one, Reflection, which was really good, and I enjoyed it, and I, I thought it was great. So, I, I only got to read four of these books. They are like 300 to 500 pages, okay? So, that's why I, I did not read super, a super huge amount of books in September. I had those really big books to get through. But uh, I, I did read uh, the few remaining Little Mermaid books from the Little Mermaid chapter series. So I posted some reviews for them back in May. So uh, The Haunted Palace, which is sort of a ghost story. Also uh, number nine, which is The Practical Joke War, where the One Sisters pulling all sorts of pranks and it's really boring. It's just a prank and then a prank and then a prank and then another prank. I, I, I thought it needed far more story. And then Alana's Secret Friend, which is an okay book where she sort of like adopts this hum fish and she likes it, but it needs to go back to its family. And although that's a story I've seen a lot of times, they did a similar story in uh, Winnie the Pooh, uh, The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Rabbit had that little bird that he really liked, but he had to let the birdie go and that was so sad. It was an okay way to end the series, even if it's sort of an overused story. And I also did a video where I have a compilation of all the reviews I did. For, you know, reviews for all 12 books in that series. I read the first two Dogman graphic novels. Did not enjoy the first one. Really enjoyed the second one. I thought the second one was a huge improvement over the first one. And let me go back. I also read Kilala Princess. So I finished the Kilala Princess manga series. I actually posted uh, an early access link for the Kilala Princess reviews on my Patreon. So subscribe to me on Patreon and you can see these reviews for this weird Disney princess manga. Uh, also finished... Uh, well, I didn't finish with the Bluey series because there's a lot of Bluey books, but I, I read a few more. So, Bluey Barky Boats, didn't really like the episode, didn't really like the book. The book's pretty accurate to the episode. Uh, Bluey All About Bingo was okay, and then Bluey Sleepy Time was fantastic. Great episode, pretty good book, uh, based on a great episode. Finally, I read a graphic novel called Primer, which is a superhero graphic novel. Whoa, that was exciting. I liked it, I really liked it. Uh, I, I hope they do more of starring Primer, because Primer is a superhero. She uses paints to fight crime. I thought it was really cool. I read a couple of other graphic novels that I'm not doing reviews for. Um, Shazam! Thundercrack, which I did not really enjoy much, so if, if I did a review for it, it'd be a mostly me negative review. I, I, I don't want to do that. And also, Shannon Hale and her husband, they wrote two two books starring uh, Wonder Woman, so I, I forget the names of them. It's like Diana, Princess of the Amazons, or something like that. Uh, give me a moment. Yeah, it's Diana, Princess of the Amazons, and uh, Diana and Nubia, Princesses of the Amazons, uh, written by Shannon Hale and Dean Hale, uh, illustrated by Victoria Ying, and they were okay, but I don't really feel like doing reviews for them. Yes, I occasionally read books and don't do reviews for them. <laughs> Anyway, those are all the books that I read and reviewed last month, September. Thank you very much for watching my YouTube channel. Have, have a nice day, everybody.